what is up you guys it's your girl annie smiley coming back at you with another video i don't know why i'm doing this but i just did it so happy vlogmas day one whoa 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 so happy vlogmas day one um so today we're gonna be doing the holiday tag also known as the christmas tag or whatever you want to put it same thing but whatever don't mind the silly juice right here because i have to do a review um for the silly juice which is coming sometime this month i've been having this juice for like almost two months now still haven't reviewed it so this month is gonna be the month that i review it don't mind the glove and the boots and the hangers in the mirror in the bed don't mind that because there's a video coming up where i clean my room <laughs> and you guys are gonna be watching me clean my room um so let's get started the first question is how do you celebrate christmas well before covid um, I would be in church Christmas Eve to Christmas morning and then I'll come home around like what two three o'clock in the morning from church I know I'm Haitian so as um, in our culture we go to church every eve of a holiday so every New Year's Eve we're, we're in church every Christmas we're in church so during Christmas Eve um we would have a meal like we would bring a meal something small like patties or um akasa or hot chocolate something small but like warm and cozy for to celebrate the holidays so we would go to church that evening that eve so probably around eight nine nine eight thirty nine maybe 9 30 and we're just like sing blah blah um usually there's like special events that goes on like dancing um because our church usually has like a dance group so they would like dance spiritual dance i don't know how you call it because i'm like babbling right now but we would dance um sing read the bible and then on the last hour of what you would call it of christmas eve going into christmas um we were going downstairs or to the kitchen or to um a different area where we're not seated like um we're in service but we would go down to a different area and we would just eat drink vibe with each other tell jokes just have like a, a nice um holiday full of um, the Holy Spirit, full of God, full of love, laughter, which are church members. So because of COVID, we're not doing that no more. So I'm pretty sure most of it's gonna be on Zoom, except for the dancing, but the preaching, the singing, are, it's gonna be like usual, but I don't think this year um, it's gonna be until New Year, until um, Christmas day. If that makes sense it's not gonna be till like 12 a.m christmas it's probably gonna end sooner but usually that's what we do um question number two how are you spending this christmas this christmas i will be spending it at work i go into work thursday night and then come home at 9 a.m friday morning which is christmas day and then I go back to work at 11 p.m. on Christmas Day and then coming home at 9 a.m. the next day, Saturday. So I will be spending my Christmas at work and I'll be sleeping. So it's not a ideal Christmas, but you know. So what happens when a virus comes and everything changes, feel me? So you gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, question number three are you good at buying gifts for others yes and no yes because you just tell me what you want and i got you 
sometimes um no because every christmas season my ass is always broke i don't know how that happens i don't know why that happens but every christmas season i'm flat broke and it's not because i buy people stuff no it's because my ass is in a lot of debt <laughs> so we'll see how this year goes hopefully i'll buy like a couple people some because i don't i don't really see everybody everybody so there's no reason for me to just like splurge but well hopefully i'm not broke this year okay um question number four what's your most memorable christmas memory my most memorable christmas story is definitely when we're all together feel me i enjoy, i thrive when my family is together like my my brother my sister my nieces um my in-laws like sister-in-law <laughs> my sister-in-law and stuff like that um my grandma cousins uncles aunts like i thrive when um my family is together and especially is not especially when it's not like the close-knit family where you see every single day but it's like extended family that's when i thrive more when i see people outside of my close-knit family if that makes sense like, I don't even need gifts from y'all. Just, like, come together. We eat together. We laugh together. We chill together. I thrive. <laughs> um, question number five. How did you spend your last Christmas? Like I said before, usually we're in church. But once we get home, we're with the whole family. Um, I believe last year my cousin came i believe i'm not too sure maybe he came for thanksgiving but i had a couple people come and visit if that makes sense i believe my memory my memory isn't that good because i work overnights and when you work overnights i don't know why i'm holding this pen it's for comfort but when you work overnights like your memory starts to deteriorate and legit that's what's happening to me <laughs> um that's why i'm trying to leave my job just don't tell nobody this is our secret all right question number six on christmas eve what do you leave out for santa nothing i don't know about you but at a very young age i realized santa isn't real so you know how like kids who are like four or five years old whatever will leave cookies and and milk out for santa i live in a haitian household we don't play that ish not one bit so me and believing in santa never existed like i will watch it on tv i'll be like oh man that's so cool you know leaving stuff out for santa and maybe he'll come but in the back of my head i know he's not coming because i know he's not real um number seven what is your favorite christmas movie my Christmas favorite movie has to be the Home Alone series. I love the first one, I love the second one, and I definitely love the third one. That's that's like my favorite. Um, number eight. What is your favorite Christmas song? My favorite Christmas song is Mistletoe by Justin Bieber. I don't know it's just it's just something about the lyric and his voice and the music video just pure vibes and just like it makes you feel good you know what i mean i don't know i love it um question number eight in your culture what date do you receive gift well i'm haitian so we don't really have a date, I suppose. I think every household is different. So for my household, 
it'll be like it'll be the day of christmas we open gifts if we don't see everybody then like oh you get your gift whenever you come visit but like the immediate family it would be like on christmas day if that makes sense um question nine do you like eggnog i'm not even gonna lie to you i don't think i've ever tasted eggnog like at all and if i have it's probably like a sip which is why i don't remember tasting it but i'm gonna say i'm not gonna answer it specifically because i don't really recollect me drinking it so i'm gonna say i don't know <laughs> um. Question number 10. Have you ever gone Christmas caroling? Hell no. Hell to the no. I live in New York. It is too cold and people are too damn rude to be knocking on people's door singing songs. I get it, it's the holiday, but at the same time, it's something I don't, I've never done. No offense to people who do, who does it, but I would never, I could never, and no, I've never done it. Um, question number 11. Have you ever built a gingerbread house? I did, in elementary school. I love doing it. That's the only time, literally that's the only time I've done, I've built a gingerbread house. We'll be seeing a contest this holiday season. I'm not gonna, you know, let it all out and tell you all the details, but just know a gingerbread house will be made this Christmas season. That's all I gotta say. Question number 12. Try to name all of Santa's reindeer. <laughs> okay, we got Rudolph. How many reindeers do we have? Nine? We have Rudolph, Blitzen, that's it. <laughs> is Donald one? I don't even know. I'm not even gonna, I don't even know his reindeer. The only one I know is Rudolph. That's it. And maybe Blitzen. Cause that's it. <laughs> um, uh, question number 13. Is your Christmas tree real or fake? Um, fake. I don't think I would ever get a real Christmas tree. I've never had a real Christmas tree, but I don't plan on getting a real Christmas tree for two reasons. One, I hear that if you don't water it, um, if you don't water it occasionally, it'll catch on fire. And that's how most house fires um, happen during Christmas is when they have a, a natural tree and they don't water it. I don't plan on um, having my house burned down um, because I'm inconsistent. So I probably won't remember to water the tree. Um, that's my opinion because I'm not gonna water it. And the second reason, that shit messy. Messy, I don't need no leaves, no Christmas tree bark, whatever falling down every chance they get and I have to pick it up and clean it. Plus I have a dog and if he smells the, the tree, I'm pretty sure he's gonna try to pee on it. I know they got some spray, but I don't know if they have it for dogs, but I know they have it for cats. And uh, it's just not for me. It's just danger written all over it. So I'd rather stick with my fake plants, to be honest. Question number 14. Have you ever built a snowman? I have. It looked jacked up. <laughs> it looked jacked the F up. Not only did he have no hands, but he didn't have a nose. And his body was uh, uh, like probably a feet tall and all discombobulated. And it was just terrible. And it was, my hands were, were, were freaking done. Like, I feel like, I felt like my, my hands were just gonna just fall out. <laughs> so, yes, I have. Uh, question number 15. Who cooks the meal? Who cooks the Christmas meal? My mother. 
I would hope, but I'm not really a, a chef. <laughs> I'm not a cooker. I'm not a chef. I'm not a cooker. I'm a helper. I'm a cleaner, like washing the dishes. I'm a setting the table type of person. And I'm the eating type of person. But no, I do not cook the meal. One day, but as of right now, no ma'am. No, no ma'am. All right, question number 16. What gifts do you want for Christmas this year? Um... So no clothes, maybe money. <laughs> Most importantly, my biggest gift that I could give myself is a new job. Or to move out. That's like my goal. I don't know if it's like a, it's not really a Christmas gift because I'm not really leaving on Christmas or even after Christmas, like soon after Christmas. But the planning is in the works so technically i see it as a christmas gift feel me but that's about it question number 17 do you prefer giving or receiving gifts on christmas mm, i prefer giving because i don't really care about getting gifts i don't know if it's because i'm older or I've never grew up in that type of environment, if that makes sense. But I prefer giving if I can. If I can't, I'm sorry. You know, life happens. I'm always broke, bills, life. <laughs> but I prefer giving. Eighteen. Question number eighteen. What is your favorite thing about Christmas? My favorite thing about Christmas is well before. All right. So where's that? Question eighteen. Um. What is your favorite thing about Christmas? My favorite thing about Christmas before um I had this job is definitely being home with the family and just drinking sparkling what is it apple cider whatever champagne laughter just the whole family being home and nobody had to work that's like and plus um both my parents work at a school so they would have off until they work at a college so they would be off once the semester is the full semester is done and then they would return back in like January. So they would all be home. My family, my sister would be home, my brother will come by to visit. So that's the most important that's what I like about Christmas. We all come together. Um, I guess to see my nieces and my whole family. So that's the best part about Christmas. Um 19 have you ever celebrated christmas in another culture no but i would love to i want to see how like i don't know was that kwanzaa is a holiday i've always wanted to celebrate kwanzaa but i don't know i need somebody who celebrates it so i could celebrate it the proper way because i'm gonna celebrate it my way which is probably like not the best or the right way but i would love to celebrate kwanzaa to be honest and see how other um cultures celebrate christmas or the holidays i'm so sorry about my dog barking um question number 20 what would be your dream place to spend christmas I don't have like a specific location, but I have like a vibe in mind. I would love to spend Christmas somewhere that is snowy, feel me? Like you know it's gonna snow and like the whole town is decorated and like you will go skiing, snowboarding, um, 
mountain climbing, I don't know, whatever winter sports that they have, I would love to be in that type of environment for Christmas and then live or go on vacation and be like in a, a log cabin and all woodsy. That's my type of feeling for, for Christmas. Maybe one year we'll celebrate it. Well, I'll try to celebrate it myself. I don't know, but that's like a goal of mine, a dream of mine. Um, I live in New York, Long Island to be exact, so every year it is different. Um, some years it snows, some years it doesn't snow for Christmas. So you don't, for me, if it doesn't snow on Christmas, it's not really Christmas because when you see Christmas on TV, you see snow. So that's what I, that's what I feel. It will be like a, my dream place to spend Christmas. Probably like, I know I don't want to spend it in the States, so maybe, I don't know, Switzerland or Germany or, um, I don't know, um, Russia. <laughs> I just don't want to spend it in the States. Like, I want to like spend it outside where it's like naturally snowy, like probably like Switzerland. Is it Switzerland already? Switzerland would be nice. Yeah, that's it. Are you a last minute shopper or are you organized? I am a last minute shopper for sure. Um, organized is not for me. Organization is not for me. Maybe one day I'm trying to, but as of right now, I'm a last minute shopper, which I feel like for me, I don't know if people are, are like that, but I feel like for me, I thrive more in a rush. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like I give out the best when I'm in a rush. <laughs> it sounds stupid. It sounds crazy, but that's, that's how I feel. Obviously, people love to organize, write down the names, and say, I want this person, this person, this person to get that gift, and this, and this, and this. But yeah, I thrive more, and I give out the best gift when it's last minute. That's my opinion. Um, I may be totally wrong, because many people don't, don't like my gift, but they're just trying to be nice and be like, oh, I love this, you know what I mean? But mm, I'm a last minute, for sure. Um, question number 22, what's your one Christmas wish? My one Christmas wish is to have, a is to have all my family healthy, wealthy, and happy. Even if we're not all together, that's what I want each of them in their individual houses or individual life to have. For me, I think that's about it. And the same for me. Um, Question number 23. I haven't watched Elf in a minute, so forgive me if I say this wrong. Don't come for me in the comments. Um, pray for me instead. <laughs> but if I say this wrong, I'm sorry. It's been a minute since I watched Elf. Okay, question number 23. Finished this Elf quote the best way to spread christmas cheer is to gather along with the family <laughs> plus let me look it up so i don't let me look it up okay because i know it rhymes but i'm just not rhyming it right so let me look it up so you do I, so you guys don't don't come to my head all right Ah, 
See, I knew a rhyme. The best way to spread Christmas cheer is singing loud for all to hear. Yeah, that's from Elf. That's one of my one of my movies. I wouldn't say it's my favorite, but I like watching it during the Christmas season. If that makes sense. But if it wasn't Christmas season, I wouldn't be watching it. But Home Alone, I'll watch it anytime, any day, anywhere it's on. I would watch Home Alone. That's for sure. And that's about it. So thank you guys for watching. Um, I have a vlog coming up in the next video. So I'm going to post that tomorrow. Um, yes, I'm wearing the same outfit. I'm going to explain it in the vlog. And don't come for me. It's <laughs> okay because I'm filming everything on the same day. So just don't come for me. That's all I gotta say. Bye guys.